Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ned Bellavance, Ned1313 on Twitter, and welcome to the Daily Check-In for November 10th, 2020. And today is Tuesday, which means it's Terraform Tuesday. We're going to be talking about HashiCorp's Terraform. And specifically, we're going to talk about how you can manage resources that exist in your state file. This is actually based off of a viewer request from VomCB. He asked me, how can you move existing resources from one Terraform state file to another? If you were trying to like break up a big configuration into smaller configurations without destroying what those configurations are managing, like how do you even go about that? Well, I figured out how to do that and also some other things that you might want to do if you're manipulating your state file. So that is what we're gonna get into today. Hopefully that's interesting to you. I do want to mention if you are interested in Terraform and you'd like more of a, a formal course, if you will, the best way to do that is to check out my courses on Pluralsight. I have four Terraform courses. One is getting started. Another one's a deep dive, so we go a little deeper. And then there's one that's specific to AWS and one that's specific to Microsoft Azure. And yes, I have been asked if there's a Google Cloud one coming. There will be eventually. I just haven't gotten there yet. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> so if that's of interest to you, go to Pluralsight. A link's down in the description. You can check it out, sign up for a 30-day trial, or sometimes they just do these free weekends and stuff. Just you know, check it out, see what you think. Before we get into today's topic, I want to check in with you. How you doing? How's Tuesday? Are you having tacos? Is it a Taco Tuesday? I hope it is. Unfortunately, it's not a Taco Tuesday for me. My son really wants to have meatloaf tonight. And so we acquiesced and said, you know, we're going to make you meatloaf and mashed potatoes, buddy, because you've been asking for it. And we're going to do like Taco Wednesday. So it's cool. I'm still getting my tacos this week, but it's just not, it's not going to be today. So I hope you've got something good uh, planned for food or anything else, whatever, whatever gets you going. Uh, let's try it. Let's dive right into this topic here with how you can manage objects with Terraform State. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share out my screen here. I'm using Visual Studio Code. As always, if you're looking for these files, the link is down in the description. I keep all of them in my Terraform Tuesday GitHub repository. So they're super easy to find. The folder in question we're talking about is today's date, the 10th of November. Now to just kind of set the stage a little bit, the first question was, what can you do if you want to move manipulate or move objects. So there, let's take a look at a very, very simple basic example that I've got going here. Let me scroll up to the top. And uh, why don't I hide the terminal for a second? Okay, so this is a super simple configuration. All it does is create two resource groups in Microsoft Azure. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see we've got one resource that we're calling tacos, another resource we're calling enchilada, and each one creates a resource group based off of a name. And that's it. That's all we're doing. We're creating two resource groups. So let's go ahead, pop open the window. I've already initialized my Terraform config. So all I have to do is Terraform apply and we'll do auto approve. So we don't have to do a plan or confirm. All right, now that I have started the Terraform apply, it's going to go ahead and try to create these two resource groups, we should see a Terraform TF state file be generated to the left. There we go. There's our Terraform TF state file. And it's going to go out and create those two resource groups in Microsoft Azure. Now, what do we want to do once those two resource groups are created? Oh, there we go. See, it was that fast. Let's go ahead and open up that TF state file. And you know, you're not supposed to manipulate this thing, but we can just take a look. So under resources, we have an Azure resource group called Enchilada. And we have another Azure resource group called Tacos. Now, let's say I, you know, threw this configuration together and then I suddenly realized, man, I don't want to call this thing enchiladas. It's storing burritos. I want this resource group to be called burritos. What can I do? Well, the good news is we have a handy dandy command called Terraform State Move. So if we do Terraform state list, it will list out the resources that we have in our state. So we can see we've got enchilada and tacos. Now let's go and we are going to run a command. And this command moves a resource from one entry to another. So here's the command. I'm going to break it down for you. Terraform state 
MV for move, the source ob, uh, source resource you want to move. So we want to move Azure resource group dot enchilada. That's the thing we want to move. And where do you want to move it to? We want to move it to dot burrito. So let's go ahead and grab this whole command. We'll copy it and we'll paste it down here. And now it's going to move this resource object within the state file. So let's go back to the state file once it's done and take a look. And now we can see that the name for this has changed to burrito. Awesome. That's what we wanted. We renamed a resource within Terraform. Now we actually have to update our configuration to acknowledge that. So let's go ahead and rename the resource here to burrito. Oh, burrito. <laughs> Almost had a typo there. Okay. So now it should all line up if we go ahead and run a Terraform plan. Because we moved it in state and then changed the name of the resource, it should say that no changes are needed because we're not actually changing anything in the cloud. This is all internal Terraform machinations. And I've actually been through this where I have named something and then realized that it wasn't really a good name for it. And then I want to change it later. And at that point, it's too late. See, no changes, infrastructure is up to date. We don't have to change anything. So that's one example of why you might want to use this command and how you might want to manipulate your state file. What's another example? Let's say that I realized at some point that I want to move the tacos resource group into a module. I want to use it as a module. I don't want to have the resource group created directly. And obviously this is a little contrived, right? We're not going to do this for a resource group, but what if you did want to create a module for a bunch of resources you already have in your Terraform configuration? How are we going to do that? Okay. So we're still going to use the Terraform state move, but what we're going to do is the source will be Azure RM resource group dot tacos. And the target is going to be module dot tacos dot Azure resource group dot tacos. So we're creating a module called tacos and putting the resource group dot tacos inside that module. And you would have to do this for all the resources that you have in your current state file that you want to be in this module. So let's go ahead and run that command now. And copy and paste it down here. And once that's complete, we'll take a look at the updated state file to see what's changed now that we've done this move. All right, the move is complete. And now we still have our resource group burrito, but if we scroll down, we now have a module called module.tacos. Now this doesn't actually alter your configuration. You still have to update your config with this information. So how do we go about doing that? Well, we no longer have the resource group directly, right? So we're going to go ahead and comment out this resource group. And if we scroll down here, I've got a module called tacos and I'm going to point this module at a source, this local folder over here called tacos. What's in there? I've got a main.tf file in here and all it does is take two variable arguments, a region and a name, and then it creates a resource group and the resource group is an Azure RM resource group called tacos. So the addressing still lines up. It's in the module tacos and it has an internal address of Azure resource group dot tacos. It all should line up now. And before I do anything else, I have to initialize my Terraform configuration because I've added a module here. So you have to run Terraform in it first. Now that it's aware of that module, now when I run a Terraform plan, it should, in theory, use that module and then recognize that nothing needs to change on the infrastructure side because I've simply moved resources into their own module, but it's all still in the same state file. So that is our second example of how you might want to use this move command to reconfigure your existing configuration, sort of like break it up into modules. All right, there we go. No changes, infrastructure is up to date. That's what we're looking for. Now, the third thing I wanted to show you, and this is an answer to Vamsi's original question is how do I move resources into a new state file and a new configuration without breaking anything? Okay, that's the million dollar question. What if I decided now that I don't want my burritos config to be part of this config anymore. I want to move it off in its own state file and manage it as a separate configuration. 
How am I going to go about doing that? Well, there is this argument you can add to the move command called state out. And you can say, I don't want you to update the existing state. I want you, well, I do want to do that, but I also want you to move this resource to a new state file. So I'm going to point it at this directory burritos and a new state file called terraform.tf state. The addressing for the resource is gonna say this is going to stay the same. It's gonna be Azure resource group burrito is moving to that same address in the new config, which means in this directory burritos, I need a main.tf file that creates that same resource. And oh, make sure I make it singular. Okay, so in this other config, I now have this resource called Azure resource group burrito. And by running this move command, I'm going to be moving my resource into a TF state file. So let's go ahead and grab this entire thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste it down here. And what this does is it removes this entry, this resource entry entirely from the existing state file and puts it in a new, new state file in the subdirectory. So there's my new state file in the subdirectory, boom. If we look at the rate at the existing TF state file, the only thing that is in it now is that module.tacos resource. If we look at this Terraform TF state file, there's my resource group burrito. And if we go into the directory and we go ahead and let's do a Terraform in it, right? Because this is a brand new config, I've got to initialize it, okay? And once that Terraform config is done, we can do a Terraform plan. And because the resource already exists and the state file is there, it's gonna go and say that no infrastructure changes are necessary because that resource already exists up in the cloud. I don't have to change anything. And in that way, I've successfully moved a resource from an existing state file to a new state file and moved the configuration out of the existing config into the new config. Now, since I did that, what I would have to do is go all the way back into my main configuration. And just like I did with the moving the tacos into the module, I now need to comment out this resource because I've moved this resource out of the config entirely. It's not in there anymore. And if you did go up into that directory and run another Terraform plan and wait a little bit, it's gonna tell you no changes, infrastructure is up to date on this as well. So let's go over what we just did. We took an existing resource and renamed that resource, but kept it in the same state file. So if for whatever reason you wanted to rename a resource, you could do that. And that's definitely happened to me. I gave it a bad name. I wanna give it a better name. In the second one, we moved a resource into a module so we're starting to break apart our configuration into modules a little bit, but it's still all in the same state file. And then number three, the third thing that we did was move a resource into a new state file with a new configuration. And in all of these cases, the actual resources running in the cloud were never impacted. Those stayed exactly as they were, but we were just manipulating things within the world of Terraform. So I know that's a, it might be a little confusing at first, but trust me, as your Terraform configs grow and your organization grows and starts using it more, these are the little things that you're actually gonna find are extremely useful. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe and share and check out my courses on Pluralsight. And that's all I got. You know, reach out to me on Twitter, Ned1313, or leave a comment down below if there's a topic you want me to cover on a Terraform Tuesday. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe out there. Bye for now.